so as i said in business to business world most of the transactions happen on credit that you buy an item and you're going to pay for the item later on but that's not true for all the time you can uh, still purchase something on uh, prepayment or you can do a down payment for something as a prepayment okay the prepayment needs to be captured uh, in the system if that's uh, that is the case so what would be the accounting for prepayment so here just imagine you are paying for some item in advance you have not really received the item but you are simply making the payment in advance so for that a special account needs to be created by the, by the accountants of course it's, it's called a prepayment account and that's an account of asset type uh, and you have to define that account in the system in your uh, settings before you start using accounts payable or even you can define it afterward as well but without defining this prepayment account you can't enter prepayment kind of uh, a transaction in the system so this is what what's going to happen if you're paying somebody as a prepayment for some item that you're going to be receiving later on so your prepayment account is debited that means uh, you have $25 money sitting in your prepayment account which is of asset type and your cash is reduced uh, by $25 here so your one asset is being converted into another type of asset here your cash is reduced but still you own that $25 as, as something of value because you have not really received the item that you purchased you still have maybe some kind of receipt saying uh, receipt saying that you have made this kind of uh, this much prepayment to somebody okay but you still that receipt is of value okay so that's an asset as well now what would happen when you receive the actual expense item or the asset item you're gonna debit that item okay that makes sense as we have studied in the in invoice accounting as well your expense is increasing in value but now the prepayment receipt that you are holding or, or, or something of value is is reduced by $25 and, and basically uh, is back to prepayment is back to zero that means you made a prepayment okay but now you have received the expense item and that prepayment account has no value in it because you can't go to the vendor and say again uh, that hey I, I pay, paid $25 give me something else as well okay whatever you're supposed to receive you have received okay so this prepayment is uh, back to zero now here is both uh, accounting together on the top you can see you made a prepayment uh, to a vendor and the bottom you can see that you are receiving the item for which you have paid so this is uh, the example where your business is kind of uh, uh, going the other uh, going the way that consumer business happen right the consumer to consumer transaction happens or consumer to business transactions usually happen this way you make a payment first and then you get the item so the Oracle tables can capture that kind of transactions as well so uh, now you can compare uh, the two here the prepayment at the top uh, and the prepayment here is going to cancel each other and the net result would be expense debited and cash credited okay so we have re uh, reached the same conclusion as we had reached uh, on on the uh, standard accounting as uh, standard invoice accounting the net result was same expense was debited and cash was credited and the the accounts that were cancelling each other was accounts payable account, the liability account. Here, the prepayment account is cancelling each other. So make sure uh, that you take those tutorials, like all these tutorials. Again, if you need to uh, re uh, revisit all these concepts, but it, uh, these concepts should be very clear in your mind when you start using accounts payable module.